If you would like your ICO reviewed, please contact us for competitive packages. Now, we do not review every single ICO that comes our way, only the top tier ICOs that have passed an extensive qualifying process. Businesses that we're actually considering investing in ourselves. Now, having said that, with any investment, there's always a potential to lose, so you must only ever invest in what you can afford to lose. Our contact details are in the description below. And please remember, we're not a financial institution, so anything you hear expressed here is our opinion only. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. AI, or artificial intelligence, is a hot topic across all forms of media and communication these days. It's something that's being developed more and more daily, and because of this, there's an increased need for computing power to support such projects. The British poet John Doan once said, No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent. And now, in the world of blockchain, this idea is more relevant than ever. Imagine for a moment you were working on an AI project, but you need more graphics processing power. And instead of spending a ton of cash on a very expensive hardware setup, you could pay someone to use part of their processing power. Then the buyer could get the resources they need, and the supplier could be compensated for their contribution. Well, now, this is a reality through a new exciting blockchain platform called Tatao. Now, one of the core issues when we're looking at artificial intelligence is that AI requires a lot of computing power. Just to give you a general notion of the kind of power we're talking about, consider the Google DeepMind AI that beat Lisa Doll at Go. For those of you who don't know, Go is a Chinese board game, and the world champion of this board game is Mr. Lisa Doll. Now, in order to gain victory over Sadol at his own game, the AlphaGo algorithm had to run on machines with its total usage of 1,202 central processing units, or CPUs, along with 170 76 graphics processing units, otherwise known as GPUs. That was for a single game of Go. Now with that in view, consider the amount of power needed for running a much more complex and large-scale AI practice across the world. There are many people in the tech community who feel that the future of AI processing and development could help in making large strides forward when it comes to quantum computing. Now Tristan Green, who is one of the contributing writers of the publication NextWeb, had this to say on advancement coming with quantum computers. Once quantum computing surpasses the capabilities of supercomputers, a feat that's nearly been accomplished, we'll need methods for creating instructions and understanding the vast amount of data they produce. AI is perfectly suited for this, and according to experts, it's the next logical step. No one person the world over knows for sure when quantum computing is going to come about. Even so, quantum computing advances look promising to many tech insiders, and if and when it's successful, it could revolutionize the world of supercomputing and play a key role in AI development. At the moment, the technology just isn't created as of yet, and the timeline is still kind of unclear. This does not mean people will not stop trying, which leaves AI developers trying to figure out how to handle the need for large amounts of computational power in the meantime without quantum computers. And the next question becomes, does blockchain technology Technology have an answer. Andrew Fraser is the co-founder and CEO of Tatao. Let's have a look at what he had to say on this matter. Market demand for AI compute doubles every 3.5 months, but supply isn't keeping up. Suppliers are using price as a lever to control usage, and these dynamics are holding back innovation. Solving the issue of growing demand for computational power by AI could possibly be solved by creating a solution that uses both GPU-based computing for increased speed and less energy consumption and distributed processing using available computers in a sustainable manner that reduces the environmental footprint caused by increased computing. Now, Tatao is a platform that seeks to offer a solution to AI's increasing demand for computational capacity. The Tatao platform is a blockchain-based platform that offers an eco-friendly cloud service specifically designed for processing AI and video rendering utilizing GPUs. Built on Ethereum, Tatao provides a platform for anyone to buy and sell computing capacity on its decentralized marketplace. This is a great way to take advantage of new advancements in GPU-based efficiency algorithms for artificial intelligence and 3D rendering. And they fill in the need for more eco-friendly computational solutions. On your screen, you can actually see the process of how this works. First up, a user will submit a computational request to Tatao's API. Then the system will set up an escrow contract for the computational requests. 
Then we press on to the distributable computation request, which goes to the computational nodes. Then the nodes will compute the request. The escrow contract will verify the computational request correctness. And then the request will be returned once completed to the buyer. The share economy is working gangbusters across so many parts of the global economy. Now, whether it be Uber when it comes to transport, Airbnb when it comes to accommodation, and a host of services when it comes to food delivery, looking to the share economy idea for computing power seems in a lot of ways like a natural next step. <laughs> Let's talk about the Tatao token. Now the Tatao token is used in two ways on its platform. The first is payment. The Tatao token is used when buying and selling computational power on its network. It will also be used to pay for fees to parties in the network, like validators. Next up we have staking. The Tatao token is used to stake computational nodes and validators on the network. When mixed with a slashing protocol, this staking method strongly incentivizes honest participation in the network. Insofar as the actual token distribution goes, so 15% of the tokens are headed over to the founders, 10% are going to the advisors and developers, 44% will go to seed and private and pre-sale, and 31% will be held in a treasury. <laughs> Then we have the funds allocation, which breaks down like this. 20% will be held in reserve, 12% will go towards marketing and business development, 10% will be set aside for seeding token changers and EFTs, 40% will be kept aside for research and development, 5% is going to be set aside for miscellaneous fees that may pop up along the way, an additional 5% will be set aside for legal expenses, and 8% will go towards operational expenses. <music> Just so we can get a better idea of what the actual plans are for the folks over at Tatao, let's take a peek over at their roadmap. So in April of 2018, we had the release one of the customer and client side application. By May of 2018, we had the proof of computation pilot adding to the customer and client side. Then August of 2018 was quite a busy month. We had the smart contracts for AI computation, customer client software with blockchain task queue layers, TensorFlow and distribution support, the validator node software for AI, distributed fault system support, processing transactions with rated network and bridge contracts. Pressing on into the following year, in February of 2019, they're planning to launch the tattoo on testnet. They're also planning on beginning beta processing across commercial AI contracts. Then in March of 2019, we're looking at the tattoo API. We're also looking at computational graph analysis for memory optimizations and also larger models for support. Then in June of 2019, we're looking at launching AI on its own mainnet. Exciting times ahead. Then in December of 2019, they're planning on rendering as a service and supporting the renting commercial rendering software as part of the Tattoo platform. Also looking at grid search support, Torch Cafe and Theano network support, adding OpenCL support for rendering and AI tasks, rendering validators, MXNet support, an auto machine learning layer known as AutoML to provide thousands of neural network configuration and model tests. Then by July of 2020, we're looking at the quantum tensor network simulations with QTorch. <laughs> There are so many crypto platforms out there, it can be hard to understand what makes one different from another and why one would actually be more worthwhile than looking at any other platforms in the market. Now, Tatao is one that certainly stands out, mainly as it performs a very serious, interesting, and specific function, not to mention the function will be of great use to many people for some time to come. We live in a time where the growth in artificial intelligence is something that affects us all. When my father was a child, only about 60 years ago, milk was delivered to his family home by a horse and cart. Now, billions of us have a computer in our pocket which contains access to the bulk of all information created in human history. A lot can change in a short space of time. And if you consider how much the growth of AI will change the world, projects like Tatao not only help us provide a way to aid with resources to grow AI generally, but it also provides a way that people can be paid for this service. As there is an economic incentive and AI will continue to grow, it seems like the Tatao platform is not only here to stay, but that it has a very good shot at being a successful project and a great many people stand to benefit in the months and years to come. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take care.